welcome to tutorial with this tutorial we're going to be looking at hash tables hash arrays um, the last tutorial was arrays um, and this one was hash tables and so there's different ways of creating um, hash tables um, I'm using like version 1.9 something so I, I think once before this version could do it slightly different, I'm not too sure. Um, so I'll show you the ways that I know. Um, there could be other ways of doing that, um, I'm not too sure. But I'll show you what I know. And so to create an array, you, the most simple form would be the two square brackets. And that's an array, but we've not given it a name so that we can identify it and so that we can access it. You can do with the same with a hash table but it's not square brackets it's curly brackets and enter and you can see that those brackets creates a hash table and that's the difference between array and hash table now if you remember right we could, could create a, an, an array by using the array class and the new method to create a new object of that array and so what we did was dot new enter and a new array was created we can do the same with the hash table we use a hash class and the, the new method so and there is we've created a hash table and so we could do hash equals hash dot new enter and now we've got a hash table created that way every time we every time we type hash we'll, we'll, it'll display that this is a hash table so there's nothing inside it now another way of doing it is you use the, the, the curly um, brackets and you put the values inside it. A key, a key starts with a colon, and a name after it is a key. So if we do fruit, and then to separate the key from the value, you have an equal sign and a greater than. The next what comes is a value, and the, the value a string it can be a number and so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this um, apple so that's the first key and the keys are separated by a comma and so I'm going to do another key and it's number if I spell it right number and greater than and now we're going to give it 45 and equal um, so that's us got two two key values um, in the hash table and then we close the hash table like so and enter and we've created a hash table but again and we've got like like two keys in it and two values but again we've not given it a name so we, we don't know how to identify this has table and so we cannot access it and so what we would do is we'll use the hash name again equals what I'm going to do is just reuse this um, just to save a little bit of time so hash equals uh, Right, and you've got the brackets, and in between the brackets, you've got two keys with their two values. So if I hit enter, I've just created a hash table with two keys and values inside it. And so if I type hash, hey presto, there you go. That's that's a hash table. And so the way to the way to access the hash table is to type the, the name. 
and use square brackets and the colon is for the key put the name of the key Close the bracket to enter, and we've entered. We've got, I've got access to the number. Now it's forty-five, and so if we wanted, if we wanted to get access to foot, to enter, and apple. No, if we wanted to add an element, a key, and value. To the hash table, what we would do is hash square brackets um, let's see What we've done is we've added another key and I've not spelled address out, it's, it's two D's, it's uh, sometimes my D's, D doesn't, um, when I press it doesn't work, so I should hit it a little bit harder, um, but if I do hash, we've added another key to the hash table, and we can access, we can access it by going address and I've got to spell it wrong this time. So I've got to have the colons on it so it knows that it's a key. That's all. Let's see and there's lots of different methods you can use with it. You can treat um, the same way as you the arrays the array um, you can delete um, values from it, you can delete like you can delete um, keys and so so you can test to see you can test to see if certain certain keys is um, is part of the hash table. So like you can use the fet the fetch key. So hash dot fetch and you've got brackets and then you put your key inside and what we're going to do is add address spelled wrong and right. so enter and Glasgow. So it's told you that Glasgow is there. It's another way it's another way of fetching. Let's see and so So, so again, thank you for your time.